hello everyone welcome back to my channel god's glory tv i hope you're doing well i hope you're okay may the lord bless you thank you for stopping by um if you're new to my channel well you're welcome i hope you enjoy and stay with us um, please don't forget to share and tell someone about this channel if you, if you are blessed by it. Um, today I want to continue with um, the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes. And we're in chapter uh, Matthew chapter 5 and now verse 4. And it says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Hallelujah. Now... First of all, what is mourning? There's there is a spiritual mourning and there, there is a physical mourning. We're going to concentrate more on the spiritual mourning. But the physical mourning is a sense of grief. When you lose someone, the pain of never ever seeing the person again. When you lose someone through death. That process is a mourning process. Now coming to the spiritual morning, the spiritual the aspect of spiritual morning is when you repent, total repentance, on knowing and realizing that your actions before God are sinful, and you are coming in total in total repentance, saying, "Lord, I am sorry. I commit my ways to you. I don't want to go back to my vomit." Trusting God. Coming to him and he has said that when you do this, when you repent, when you forsake your sins, he will comfort you. He will accept you as you came, as you have come to him and he will embrace you. God is waiting for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl that's going to say, I am tired of doing it, Lord. I don't want to sin against you anymore. I don't want to do things that will not please you anymore. God is waiting for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl, that father, that mother, that brother, that sister. He's waiting for that man to, that, that will say, Lord, I am sorry. I stop. I, 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 I want to be dead to sin. I remember when I took that step into church, all of a sudden as the pastor was preaching, this this is about let's say twelve or eleven years ago. I saw myself so dirty. I cried, I crawled and cried to the altar when altar call was made because that day I decided it's not easy, but God has said He will comfort us, and God has never failed, and He will never fail. God is waiting for that man that will say bye-bye to the things of this world. Today you go to church, you go sing, dance, and still feel the same way you felt when you went to church. You will not have any sense of repentance. I don't know if it's because of what they are preaching. I don't know what is happening in today's church. But you will dance and dance and dance and praise God. For the sake of Christ, I am stopping this my lifestyle. God is waiting for that sister that is saying, for the sake of Christ, I am not going back that way again. I am not moving to that part of life again. Are you willing this hour? Are you willing to mourn, to, do, to start a spiritual mourning? God is saying he will give you rest, he will comfort you. He has never failed. Have you tried him? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Oh, glorious King, we honor you. Faithful God, ever sure and everlasting King, we say thank you. In any way, oh God, we have done that which is not of you. Have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Father, we come to you just as we are. We cast all our cares and our bodies unto you. Thank you for your, you are our comforter. We lay all down to you.
We lay our heart down to you, Lord. Help us not to go back to our vomit. Help us not to sin against you anymore. We cannot do it on our own, Abba Father. That's why we come to you, just as we are, Savior. Our King, help us to hate committing sin. Help us to hate that bad habit. Help us to hate that thing which is not of you, that is roaming around, that has taken control of our lives. Help us to hate that addiction. Oh God, help us to hate that bad thing that we do that is not of you. We have no power of our own. Thank you, Asians, of this. In Jesus' name.